Hey guys, my name is Sven and in this video I show you how I transformed my body. But before we start, here's a little disclaimer. My training doesn't follow a strict bodybuilding approach. I do calisthenics and vary my training so that I'm able to do skills, stay mobile and maintain a good physique. There were periods in my training history in which I strictly focused on hypertrophy training but for the most time I follow an all-around approach. If you now want to know how such a workout can look like, you should head over to kellymove.com and check our workout programs. If you order in the next 3 days, you get a 30% black weekend discount for all workout bundles and single programs. But more about that at the end of this video. Alright, back to my transformation. As you already see, this is no short time transformation video. To be honest, there are over 15 years between those two pictures. That are 15 years of training, 15 years of experience and 15 years of consistency. So let's take a look at the first picture again. Here I was 18 years old and already had a little bit of training experience. I've done push-ups and pull-ups since I was 12 years old and started weight training at around 16 years. Of course the training wasn't on the same level as today, but let's be honest, I'm not looking like a guy who already trained for a couple of years, right? Well, to build a good physique you have to be consistent because progress needs time. Especially as a hard gainer and if you want to stay drug free. I know, the web is full of those short time transformation videos. But for most of you it will be a long time process. Great physiques are usually built over years, not weeks or months. This being said, you should know that you will still build a lot of muscle mass in the first year of your training. This happens because your body is not used to working out. The more your body gets used to it, the slower the progress gets. On the other hand, the more time passes by, the more experience you get. This means that you will learn to train more effectively. The feeling for your muscles and how you should train them gets better with every year. You will notice what works and what doesn't work for you. So even if you maxed out your newbie gains after the first year, you will break through another plateau because you are able to optimize your training. Another thing you should consider are genetics. I know most people don't want to hear it, but genetics will always play a role. Some respond better to working out and will build muscle mass very quickly and easily, while others struggle with it. To stay motivated, you shouldn't compare yourself to others directly. Do the best you can do and make the most out of your potential. If you constantly put effort in your training, you will be able to build a very good physique. The next important point is about effective training. Many people waste their time with wrong programming, ineffective training methods and because of that, don't get the best results. Here it's very important to find the right balance between training and rest, between overload and regeneration. A good program also offers consistency but leaves enough room for variation so that you will never plateau for too long. The most important points for spotting a good workout program are the implementation of different training methods and techniques, the selection of the right resistance, which means how much weight or which progression of an exercise you use. 
the correct rest times that are adapted to the rep range and the difficulty of the exercise, the correct training volume, which means how much reps, sets and exercises you do, the right training frequency, which means how often you train per week, and that the routine challenges but not destroys you. All these points are important and you also have to know that training more or training harder is not always the best way. Keep in mind that your muscles grow during rest periods and not during a workout. This is one of the most challenging points because everyone responds differently and you have to find out what works best for you. In my experience, most people are either doing too little or too much. They are either highly motivated, want to train every day and go all out in every session, or they have a hard time to motivate themselves and train on a regular basis. Both ways will not work in the long term and you have to find the sweet spot between those two. If you want to focus on building as much muscle mass as possible, you should also follow a hypertrophy focused training. There are some general rules about this kind of training, but there is no single secret routine you can follow for a lifetime. If you now want to know how such a hypertrophy focused calisthenics workout should look like, I linked you two free videos in the description that include the calisthenics hypertrophy focused training. Of course, also don't forget to check our calisthenics workout programs on kellymove.com. When it comes to building muscle, you also have to get your nutrition on point. So here are a few basic tips you should follow. First, drink enough water. I usually drink about 2 to 3 liters a day. Second, get enough calories. If you want to build up muscle mass, you should aim for a calorie surplus. Try to be around 3 to 500 calories above your total daily energy expenditure. More than that is not necessary and in the most cases it will only lead to more fat than muscle mass. You can get your calories through fats and carbohydrates. Some people prefer a high carb and low fat diet while others get the best results with a low carb and high fat diet. When it comes to calories and nutrition in general, I personally aim for foods with a high nutritional value and avoid highly processed foods, no matter if carbs or fats. Third, you need protein to build muscle. I aim for a daily intake of 2 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. And fourth, make sure your body gets enough vitamins and minerals. Normally, your body gets enough of these if you eat food with a high nutritional value. If not, it's also possible to supplement some of the following. Zinc, Omega-3, Vitamin D3 in combination with Vitamin K2 and Vitamin B12 if you don't eat any meat. Don't forget to be careful with supplementation. Too much of those could result in a different effect you want to achieve. Ok guys, these were the most important points. Don't forget to check our calisthenics workout and nutrition programs on kellymove.com. If you order in the next 3 days, we give you a 30% black weekend discount for every program available on our website. This includes the body transformation, the mobility, the complete calisthenics, the home workout and the nutrition programs. Just use the code BW30 and get the best deal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon, Sven.